hello all welcome back to my youtube channel uh, in today's uh, video i'll be showing you how to use classic uh, version of the data loader tool so for those who are not aware about the data loader tool it's a tool which is used to load the data from a spreadsheet into oracle i mean this particular tool is used uh, for loading the data from spreadsheet into many other uh, ERPs including uh, Oracle Business Suite. So in uh, today's video, I have taken an example of um, loading of the data from a spreadsheet tool into Oracle for uh, say GL uh, uh, segment values. So take an example, you want to load the GL chart of account segment values. Uh, so for that generally what you do you go to setup financials flex fields key values enter your uh, value set name so in my case uh, the value set name is operations account <coughs> keep your cursor and then uh, press the uh, new button and then you start entering the uh, data from here but if you have say hundreds of segment values then uh, entering of the data from front end uh, uh, screens will be a time consuming uh, process so we can use a data loader tool which will allow us to load the data using the same front end uh, screens but uh, the data will be loaded very fast so now i'll show you like how to create for uh, how to load the data from data loader template into oracle for that first we need to create something called template so first thing is you need to go to dataload.com the website for the data load and then here you can see there are two data load versions one is the classic and another is the professional classic is a free version and professional is the paid version so in my today's video i'll be covering the uh, classic version so click on downloads tab and then uh, download data load classic and then enter your email address company name country etc and then once you click on download then the data load.exe uh, file will be downloaded to your laptop or desktop install that which i had already done in my uh, laptop so this is the exe file so once you install that you will have this data load uh, file <coughs> so this is how the data load file will be generated and then you can start creating your own template so there are different ways of uh, creating a template you can manually enter the data load uh, commands in this particular uh, template or you can just do a one iterations in uh, oracle and then while you are doing the particular iteration you can record the iteration so as soon as you record the iterations all the commands will be generated and you can just use those commands uh, in your data load uh, template so so let us assume i want to enter uh, sorry i want to create a segment values so let me first clear the segment values okay i'll start from here so while i perform one iteration i want to do a macro recording of that in my data load template so what i will do is go to tools macro recorder so it says like data load will now record keys pressed in all the windows applications these and their data load macro encodings will be shown in the following window keys may also be entered directly in this particular uh, window to reveal the data load encoding mouse clicks will be recorded if this option is enabled so click on ok so also check the checkbox of record mouse clicks and then don't click on this uh, window instead of clicking on the particular window just do alt tab okay now i'll start creating one record so i just want to create one record oops okay this is already in use so okay better close this start again let me check okay, that doesn't exist that's fine yeah i need to start again okay tools macro recorder click on ok record mouse clicks and then do alt tab yeah 0021 tab 
say test description 21 wherever possible try to use tab, uh, tabs instead of using mouse tab 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 and i just want this to be an expense account and then click on enter so when i click on enter it's going to press the ok button and then control s just save and again do alt tab so this is where you can see all my data load encodings were recorded so put your cursor here control a control c close and then copy your commands here okay so here you can see this is my uh, segment value tab description and here it says tab 8 so tab needs to be pressed eight times so let me move this so one two three four five six seven eight so tab comes up to here so so let me paste this tab 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 and tab yeah so now your data load template is ready now you can start entering your actual segment value so i just want to enter say 0022 and uh, my description is 22 and then for next records you can just do control c control b that's it and then change the segment values or like rather enter your actual segment value i'll just say 0023 0025 0026 and then let me change the description okay now you can start loading the data before you start loading up this particular data what you need to ensure is like there is something called delays tools delays so ensure that there is a delay and this particular delay is uh, specified in uh, seconds ensure that there is a delay whenever uh, uh, your cursor moves from one tab to your uh, next tab so or like from one cell to another cell so in this case for whenever the cell is processed there is a delay of 0.2 seconds so let me just change it to say 0.25 window activated is 0.25 and for tab whenever there's a tab just increase the delay to 0.25 so that your system waits for 0.25 seconds whenever this particular command is activated and next one is for enter also just press 0.25 and we have keystroke of control s control s is nothing but your safe 0.25 and for other keystrokes we are not using the other keystrokes there are a lot of other keystrokes and uh, as we are not using the other keystrokes you need not enter any delay for them so click on ok now you are ready to enter your data so whenever you are starting to upload the data put your cursor in the first row and even in within your oracle ensure that your cursor is here now go back to your data load click on tools <coughs> start load so you need to enter something called command group so we are in uh, ebs r12 so specify ebs r12 and window name so window name is nothing but this one so i should be able to select that window in the drop down so all my open windows are coming in the drop down so select my actual window and then click on ok so here you can see system started uploading the data and at the top you can see the uh, rules which are being processed. Yeah. So as soon as the uh, data load is completed, you'll be able to see this particular message data load completed successfully. Click on OK and then go back to Oracle. Here you'll be able to see that after each and every record, you are pressing save and hence it got all the records got saved. So this is how you can reduce your uh, time to upload the data and this is very much useful during uh, your uh, implementation uh, uh, <coughs> phase 
because like you will not have much time to manually enter the a, the lot of uh, configuration uh, data and this is just an example but you can use this particular uh, data load tool to upload the data in almost like in all the oracle forms thank you thanks for watching my video for interesting videos on oracle financials please do subscribe to my channel thank you